we are going to be making cheeseburgers. Yep. But we're not going to be using any meat. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. We're making meatless Beyond Burger patties because Jordan saw a video that was a very scientific video done Mark by Rober. Mark Rober uh, that these are actually just as tasty as a burger. And I said, yeah, no, there's no way. And dad says, yeah, no, that's not possible. And Jordan says, but Mark think, Rober said so. I think, it, I think it is possible. I think it is possible. All right. So we bought some Beyond Burger patties so we could make burgers for dinner. And we'll find out if burgerless burger is actually just as good as a burger. So what exactly is a no meat patty? It's water, pea protein, canola oil, coconut oil, rice protein, natural flavors, cocoa butter, mung bean protein, methyl cellulose, potato starch, apple extract, pomegranate extract, salt, potassium chloride, vinegar, lemon juice concentrate, sunflower lecithin, beet juice for color. So some of these ingredients per Mark Rober, are only there to make it look like meat when you cook it. So it'll still have like meat flavored or meat colored juices flowing from it so that it looks mm -hmm. and smells like meat when you grill it. So I was reading right here in the instructions and how to grill it. Uh, it says not to overcook it, just to do four minutes on each side. Because even if you cook it longer, it's still gonna look ready in the inside because of the things that you were Because just of the saying. contents the that are inside that, yeah. it. What they look like? They look meatish. I mean, they do look like they look. They like, look like meat patties. They look like, patties. They look like they made uh, meat patties from scratch. Kind of, mm -hmm. except they're smaller. Mm. So I wonder if they're gonna cook like meat and go, mm, and then they're gonna be they're sliders. Gonna be like sliders. Sliders instead of burgers. Would it but shrink like a regular burger because it doesn't have fat? I can see chunks of fat in it. I think they add fat on purpose. It's like coconut oil and stuff. Yeah, it's coconut oil, but yeah. So it still has fat in it. it All right, we're gonna put the same seasoning on them as we would if they were an actual burger. So, because we wanna know if they taste similar to the way we usually do burgers. So salt and pepper, or we could do salt. seasoned salt like we usually do. And uh, let's slap these babies on the grill. Good. All right. Does it smell meatish? Okay, let's see that it smells the same thing that I smell. What do you smell? It smells kind of like pork or bacon. Tuna. I smell tuna. What? Ew. No, no, that does mm -hmm. not smell like tuna. Let me you see. smell it. I smell pork slash bacon. bacon. All right, Mia, get over here. here. Have a sniff. What does this smell like? That. We're gonna smell again. Kind of smells like disgusting. beans. Like when you open a can of cold refried yes. beans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what it smells like. Yes, that's I what it smells like. I All right, Grill Master Jordan, or like Grill Apprentice Jordan, you'll have the Grill Master helping you to uh, grill. Now we're talking. Again. All right, all right, out to the grill. Well, it sizzles like real meat. meat. It sounds real. That's cool. It feels really greasy. Well, it's got coconut oil in it. Well, I was wondering that was accurate in the Mark Rober thing. It, it was supposed to sound like meat. Your grill has some... Um, Rust issues? Yes. Rust issues. I thought this was a brand new grill. What'd you do? That's what happens when you live in the Pacific Northwest. Everything <laughs> rusts. Remember the... Yeah, uh, maybe that's why people drag them into their garages. Yeah. Luckily, you don't have to wash your hands after you, after you work with these because this isn't like raw meat. It's not raw meat. That's true. That's you true. can't get salmon. So garlic. can I literally like lick my fingers? Yes. Huh. Yeah, try it. No, thank you. Try it. <laughs> try it. Do it. Does it taste like raw do meat? Do it. Do, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Coconut oil. <laughs> Beans. Beans? Mm. Still looks the same. Let's turn it over. Ooh, a grill mark. Well, the good thing is that it hasn't lost any side. It's dripping. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not. It's dripping and it's making it flare up. It's cool. True. It smells kind of good, though. It smells like a... It smells like real burger, like a real burger, doesn't it? It does. I don't smell it. Ooh, that does no, smell like right a real burger. Right <gasps> oh, that does smell like real Ooh. burger. <laughs> Weird. How do they do that? That's authentic. <laughs> and it sounds like a real burger. All right, I'm intrigued it's now. Exciting. See what it's gonna do. Mm -hmm. It is dripping though. I can definitely see the drippage. And it's making it flare up. 
Here comes the grill master. I guess the grill apprentice didn't really do the grilling today. That's okay. All right, dad. Yum. Dinner time. Burger time. Taxi, why don't you take our very first bite of the day? See if you like the new seasoning that dad put on it. Not really. You like the other kind better? Hmm. Dad, you might want to go back to your old seasonings. All right, Malia, you're up next. It smells weird. You don't like the seasoning either? All right, Jordan. I have a hypothesis. Okay. <laughs> I have a hypothesis. Uh huh. So, what I think is because dad put, because everybody knows now that dad put the seasoning, they're gonna think, oh, it's gonna be different. I'm not gonna like this. So, so you don't think that. So, you, you taste it and tell us. Okay. It's different. I really like the <laughs> texture of it. That's pretty juicy. Jordan's a fan. And dad, you're up. Hmm. That's weird. Texture-wise, it's meat. It's um, you know, like that rubbery, meaty. How do I explain? It? What it looks like inside. And it's juicy. Every, every bite I take is pretty juicy. Let me try it without the bread. Just, just the burger with the seasoning on it. And no pickles. It tastes like a burger. It tastes like meat. The flavor actually is not bad. It's missing something. It's not a. It's not a bad alternative for vegans. It's not a bad. It's a but do you see that becoming the future of burgers, where we just say, okay, well, it's close enough. Let's do that because it's better for the world. Yes and no. Uh, yes, because if it you be were told it would help the world if you switch, oh, yeah. would if you it switch? Help the world, absolutely, yeah. So when the price comes down, because it is still a little bit more expensive than burgers, if it's the same price or cheaper than beef, would you switch? That looks like a no. That looks like, I like a, meat. um... I'm a meat guy. I like meat. Right, but this is supposed to be so good that a meat guy would be able to switch without missing meat. It can pass for a cheeseburger. What if that's healthier for you and better for the world and cheaper? Yeah, yes. Then the flavor is worth Literally, it. Really? Why wouldn't you? Well, because the flavor is not there. It's not a bad flavor. Okay, so mm. they did manage Perfect. to nail the texture, but the flavor well, still needs just a little bit more tweaking. I just had a thought. But really, it's not that bad. With some seasoning. Not some... that bad is not that good either. So Jackson and Malia decided that they didn't like the new burgers. But Jordan, what did you think of the Beyond Meat Burger? Okay, so I think they were really good. I think it is equivalent to a pretty good burger. Tasted a bit different when I had it plain, but when I put barbecue sauce and blue cheese on it, completely like, like I couldn't tell the difference. So I think the biggest problem with it is that it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. The texture is spot on. Oh, the yeah, texture absolutely. is definitely the same it's as scary. a burger. I mean, it's not perfect, but it is pretty darn good. Uh, the flavor for me is just a little bit lacking. I'm, I imagine in a few years they'll have it yeah, perfected. perfected. They'll have it really tuned in and it'll probably be pretty close to an exact replica of what real meat is. Um, I would like to try other brands of the same thing because Beyond Meat might, I mean, obviously all the different companies, all the different brands are doing it a little bit differently and I'd like to compare them and see which one of those are the best one. Anyways, guys, it's time to put my smarty pantses to bed. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to make this channel strong, share it with your friends. And now, good night, YouTube. See you tomorrow. So, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. Touch it. Poof. I can tell something was weird about it, but I didn't like it. Hmm.